Hi everyone, I'm Sam Stadlin and welcome to another fretwork tutorial video. Um, we all do a lot of teaching in fretwork uh, and one of the things that I've noticed is that um, quite a lot of players seem to do either too little or too much with their right hand. Um, and so I thought it might be useful to do uh, a mini tutorial on, um, on a bow hold technique. And this particular technique was taught to me by my, uh, my teacher, Susanna Pell who is herself an ex-fretwork member. Uh, so thanks, Zan, for this technique. Uh, and uh, it goes something like this, it's very easy. First of all, take your bow in your left hand and then just hold out your right arm, palm upwards, so that your hand is really nice and, and relaxed. It should be very, very floppy at the end of your arm, uh, like I always describe it as a, like a dead fish. Um, step two, once you've got that relaxation, is to rotate your forearm 90 degrees to your left, like that. And you should see that your hand is still really floppy and that your hand falls away at the end of your arm. So you've got a nice straight line running down your arm and then it falls off at the thumb. And that is your basic bowing position. And that level of relaxation shouldn't ever change. Um, so step two, is of course to, to put the bow um, into your hand. So if you take it in your left hand and then just gently put the bow between your thumb and your palm uh, and you can rest the bow on your on your index finger of your left hand if you like and so it just should just sit there. Again your wrist is still nice and relaxed um, so there's no, no tension involved at all. Uh, next step is simply to put your middle finger just through the hair. I tend to put it um, about the first knuckle, uh, up, up to the first knuckle, so that the first knuckle is touching the string. Um, I tend to have my the hair of my bow fairly well into my uh, palm, usually just below the sort of knuckle area of my index finger. Um, but of course, there is no correct way to do this. Um, this is just how I do it. So if you if you prefer a different uh, uh, positioning of the bow, then, then that's fine, of course. Uh, and that's it. That's the finished bow hold. Um, you'll feel that you can uh, push down on your middle finger, on the hair with, with your middle finger, and uh, by simply by rotating your forearm to your left, you should feel that you can push down on the hair with your middle, middle finger and that at the same time, your palm pushes up on the hair at the other side. Uh, then if you put the bow on the string, it's at this point that you might start to need your index finger and your thumb. Um, these should never grip uh, or press. They are there simply to help guide the bow. Um, they're in a way to stop it slipping up and down the, uh, the palm of your hand. Um, but uh, just be, be wary of, of really ever pushing with, uh, with the thumb or the index finger. But for now, just remember that wrist should stay very, very loose, very relaxed.